Pupu game is not for me. And I hate blood and think things like falling apart, right? Like body falling apart. I hate it. Hell is too. When I hop into it, it's really fun. This is a really cool game. And I want to see what he said about this. Maybe some people said that they think it might die and stuff, but I don't think it will. I think it will live. I think people who like shooting game and even people who doesn't like shooting games will like it. That's huge. It's kind of hard to do. Helldivers 2 might and be the only game it. where you can say, wow, wow, there's a lot of bots and bugs in this. And it's a compliment. Democracy. <laughs> Why did you do that just now? Why? Who, who needs her democracy liberated? OMG what me. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm leaving the game. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I think it has a real what? chance to win game of the year in 2024. That's a bold statement, Ackman. Let's see if it ages poorly. But if it isn't at least nominated, then we'll know for a fact automatons have infiltrated the game awards. Do you think this will win game of the year? I don't know if it will win game of the year. But I think it will... We talked about during the lower show and compromised our democracy i don't know about you but i'm really enjoying this trend of indie developers releasing games with little da, marketing da, 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 that managed to da, topple da. their triple a competitors the ones that keep puking out the same garbage we're tired of i could get used to this it's refreshing da, 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 da. like my morning cup of liberty eldavers 2 has skyrocketed <laughs> in popularity it became like the one. most played title on steam and ps5 one of the top selling games on both platforms and in a rare twist of fate, the player base has remained consistent, even a month after launch. Games like this deserve their success and much more, because the developers at Arrowhead have clearly worked their asses off. Just look at the difference between Helldivers 2 and the original. Might be the biggest leap a sequel ever made. Did you know Helldivers 2 was in development for so long that the engine they used to make it was discontinued? Meaning Arrowhead had to improve and modify the engine while working on the game? Now I don't know much about all this game development, but even I know that shit ain't easy. So what the hell? is so special about Helldivers 2. Why is it thriving while recent AAA releases are struggling? Has Best multiplayer game maybe? I Oh, for the adult war show. I can totally see that. I can totally see that. Has it uncovered some secret to make live service games not so boring and formulaic? And most importantly, is Helldivers 2 worthy of being called a masterpiece? Well, let's praise democracy, brew a cup of liberty, and get set Don't do it for twice. a combat drop. Together, that we was must take first back time. control of freedom. <laughs> We are so back. We are, dude, we are so back. <laughs> we are back. Bro, bro, dab me up. Dab me up right now. We are with you, Zion, for freedom to the death. <laughs> One of my favorite things is like we're shooting right in battle, and I hear Andy's character just scream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling an eagle strike! Run! Run! run Why are you run, calling run, this on me? Even the <laughs> name is so funny. Eagle strike. Oh my god. There is no fucking way. This is... There is no fucking way this is gonna be possible. Okay, I'm gonna go to the... I'm gonna go to the escape pod data. Get some! Oh, wow. That, you are not going anywhere. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Oh my god! <laughs> Why did you get the attention? Yo! Reign of the Liberty! This one's for democracy! It's coming! I'm myself on the- oh. <laughs> There's three of them! It's There's so three silly. of them! Oh. Yes! Nice! Liberty! Yes! This is it, baby! For democracy! Oh. Hug it up! <laughs> no way! They hugged each other at the perfect setting! What's that? News from the Ministry of Truth? They say this video is sponsored by Arup? Indeed, it's the life-changing water bottle built by Science and Liberty. Oh, Arup uses water scented bottle. pods and flavor to turn normal water into flavored water without any additional oh, sugars, okay. sweeteners, nothing. It's I pretty ingenious because water, our sense of though. smell influences our taste. And the way it works is that by drinking through the straw, a slipstream is created where water and air go through the pod and into your mouth. Now, I know a lot of people who don't like drinking water for some reason. They prefer tea, into soda, energy drinks, no and they go through life totally dehydrated. If you know you don't drink enough water, 
then this is the perfect solution for you. And you have mm -hmm. the freedom to pick and choose from a variety of different flavored pods. Yes, Basil see. lemon is my personal favorite. And it's super easy to swap the pods out. Bang, just like that. You want flavor, pull up, leave it right there. And if you don't, just push down easy so order your arab water bottle today using the link in the description and pinned comment and don't forget to use my promo code actman10 to get 10 percent off stay hydrated stay healthy and thank you arab for sponsoring this video and now for something completely different what would you get if you took starship troopers terminator halo left for dead and threw them all in a blender you would get every wet dream i've ever had check it out watch how it shoots i think it, that looks really cool Oh my god, it, dude, it just hit the fucking... No way that just happened. But I'm biased because guys in space shooting aliens is a concept I have simped for my entire life. In Helldivers 2, you don't have the traditional kind of video game storytelling. It's more community-based, and I'll explain yeah. what that means later on. The game takes place in a sort of utopia where yeah, humanity has formed a one-world government it's setting heavy. I think it's Earth. like... And life here is perfect. Five setting heavy. doesn't come free. <laughs> No! Sweet liberty! No! <laughs> <laughs> Look familiar? That's right. Our glorious super earth is under attack. Our democracy and freedom is being threatened. Why did this war start? I'll tell I feel like how there was two movie would hit like in that kind of like animation and that kind of comedy vibe. <laughs> I think that would be fun to watch. Tell you why. Because our enemies hate freedom do you want to know what i hate more than anything else in this world anyone who isn't free the fascism aspect the whole for democracy sweet liberty democracy. that's all just window dressing you know it's flavor it's no different than terrorists versus counter-terrorists nazis versus everyone else the absurd levels of patriotism not absurd the reasonable levels of patriotism opens the door for some of the funniest dialogue you've ever heard say hello to democracy! My life for super earth! <laughs> I'm hit! Sweet liberty! The blood! <laughs> Obviously, there is a vibe of extreme nationalism, militarism, <laughs> and patriotism. And the best part, I'm brainwashed into all of it. <laughs> part of the beauty of Helldivers 2 is that it has no deep thought-provoking story. It's not really trying to, to make a statement. It's obviously inspired by Starship Troopers, but you know, the story is basically like, hey, do you like freedom? Yeah, so <laughs> let's go kill bugs. The only good bug is a That's dead so bug. True. One of the side objectives you can get is to terminate illegal broadcasts, which are spreading the idea that the war against the Terminids is all because of oil. I've checked with the Ministry of Truth on this and they have confirmed to me <laughs> that this is treason and it's not true. Brood free back home. Yo, it's leading all the flavor polls. Can you believe that? Holy shit. Of course I believe that because to not believe it would be treason. <laughs> the Ministry of Truth said so. Yeah. They wouldn't lie. Yeah, they would never lie. But Helldivers is so silly and over much. the top that it's more fun to play along. Especially yeah. when you have game trailers that are like this. The socialist automatons terrorize innocent families. Babes are torn from their mothers. Voters from their ballots. In the item shop, <gasps> only reviews approved by the Ministry of Truth are allowed. <laughs> what if this is all propaganda? And we're fighting for democracy. But we don't know. <laughs> Review under investigation don't for question treason. It, maybe. It's treason, then. Sometimes when the you want. I love how you're playing the bad guy is so on the nose, like possibly. Yeah. <laughs> I loads, it says, please wait democratically. <laughs> This is super unique because these are parts of a game that, you know, aren't ever stylized in any sort of way. And yet they take this concept and they just, they plaster it all over the game in every way they can. You also get to name your ship by choosing from some preset yeah. words. Mine, of course, was the Fist of Patriotism. You can also choose something <laughs> like Wings of Liberty, Patriot of Patriotism, <laughs> Founding Father of Family Values. <laughs> Games like Power World, Deep Rock Galactic, and now Helldivers have this uncanny ability to tap into meme culture and create memes and capitalize on all of that without being cringe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not noticed that screen. 
Damn, in the name of fucking propaganda, fucking put her there. Put her there. Already, the fans are making their own propaganda posters, like take back the creek, stamp out the bot. I fucking love the culture and fan base and community around this game. It truly feels one of a kind. Dumb check. Please give us that Check act boys. That's funny. Up here being, you're being rescued. Run. I named one Emperor. I named one Emperor Gold. I had to make a 40k reference. Let's go. So Helldivers 2 is a third-person co-op shooter where you and three buddies bring liberty and freedom to an army of killer robots and a race of giant bugs. And by liberty and freedom, I mean explosives and bullets. That should right there. Got him. Okay, Thank got God. him with that shit. Helldivers does a great job of combining familiar tropes into something that overall feels fresh. Bugs and propaganda from Starship Troopers. Automatons and robots from Terminator. Armor that kind of looks like Spartans from Halo. Helldivers equals hell jumpers. Even the dropships are called pelicans. But unlike Power World, nobody has brought up the word plagiarism because these designs are unique and they are fucking sick yeah. but much like how shooting zombies in left 4 dead 2 never gets old neither has blasting bugs and clankers what i hope though i really really want a cute helmet a cute outfit like a pink one with like flower on the top <laughs> or i want it to be like curvy inspired do like a collab please it was a cute Cute, cute armor. Like, yeah, let's do like a little flower cat ears, please. One, because the gameplay mechanics are more solid than Snake. And if two, they do it, this game will honestly just blow up <laughs> even more. Listen, they have the funny factor. If they add a cute factor, and it's just your armor. You can take it on, take it off. It doesn't gotta change anything into the game. Just give us that armor. You're gonna capture so many new players just for that. Just saying. An important phrase, visual feedback. When you shoot a bug, it doesn't just fall over and die. No, it gets eviscerated. Yeah, Their limbs yeah. are torn off. They might start limping puking up blood you can strip off the armor of a charger for example and see the green goo beneath it's visceral and satisfying like no other game i've played the amount of ways you can inflict damage on the bots and bugs is crazy it's so dynamic it's like a technical marvel oh that is danger close oh, Running oh, you. Kill all oh of those my people. god I'm a fucking torso. When you shoot automatons, uh, chunks of metal go flying everywhere. You can shoot off their arms, destroy the weapons on their back. Almost every single firearm and sandbox tool feels powerful and satisfying to use in its own way. The ragdoll effects are hilarious. Fuck! Oh. Sometimes your character just gets flung across the map so hard he smashes into a wall and oh, dies on impact. And you yeah. got this sick dive move which makes avoiding enemies and explosions look so dramatic. There's some games that you play and you're like, wow, this is like playing through a movie. And that's what Helldivers is like. Except you are the action star and these scenes aren't scripted. <laughs> the animations and attention to detail is it what is makes every detailed. moment of combat so damn cinematic. That's not the how they die, but like environment interactions so. With games like this, most of the fun comes from the enemies you shoot at and what you shoot them with. There is a huge variety of enemy types in Helldivers 2. And each enemy type has weak points which force players to use and swap between different tactics on the fly. Certain enemies like the Charger look like yeah. they can only be damaged from the back. But if you get a powerful enough weapon, you can strip the armor off their legs True. and cripple them. There's always more than one way to get the job done. I mean, you got things like drop ships, bug holes, giant laser cannons, tanks, bile titans, these fucking abominations. Yeah, or like uh, the, the big robot suit you can call and you get in there. It's like you can one one shot them with a rocket, the, the charger. Oh my god. <laughs> huge robotic hulks with flamethrowers and the visuals are so important because you know in a game like destiny they would have a bunch of numbers on the screen when you shoot something 
And Helldivers doesn't need that. You can see how much damage you've done to something just by looking at it. On higher difficulties, they increase the number of enemies instead of just boosting their HP and damage. And I think that's the right way to increase the challenge. The that's ship. why the difficulty and balance in this game feels so amazing. And since there's no PvP, and there never will be, the developers can go hog wild and create a bunch of overpowered bullshit that you can throw at the enemies of democracy. There's rarely a dull moment in Helldivers. It's a non-stop rush of adrenaline and unscripted cinematic chaos. And after 50 hours, it hasn't gotten stale one bit. Helldivers' biggest strength uh... comes in its variety in every aspect of its game design, especially the sandbox. The people of Super Earth clearly pay no their way. goddamn taxes and apparently it all goes to the military because we are well equipped lads you have these things called stratagems which are essentially kill streaks you pick and spawn in with stratagem is so shield, fun boys. the shield is here wait what the fuck oh my god you landed on the shield and destroyed it That's you, son of a bitch. you son of a bitch and each one requires a button combo, the numbers yeah. on your credit card, and the three digits on the back in order to call them in. Picking the right stratagem at the right time is paramount to success. And when you're trying to do this shit while outrunning a horde and, and trying not to kill your teammates, well, it's it's just awesome. Oh, yeah, I spawned and instantly was killed again. Orbital lasers, Just carpet bombs, napalm strikes, mini nukes. You can have guard dogs that watch your back Yay. with laser beams, jetpacks that let you quickly escape, yes. sentry turrets to watch your six, mortars, shield generators, turrets. gas bombs. The Geneva Convention is no more. I mean, there is a meta which becomes more prevalent on higher difficulties because you need something big to take out the bile titans. But even you on suicide- just running away though. <laughs> Screaming. That's the one thing I really appreciate about the difficulty. They don't just do what most do and just boost health, damage, etc. It means what works against certain enemies will always be relevant. Yeah. I also really like that with the stratagems, there's just so many variety of stuff. So like if you want to be more like of a support player too, there is like the supply pack. I can like give ammo and stuff. I like how there's just so many variety of uh, ways to play. Boosting health and damage is just lazy difficulty. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's such a cool game. Okay, I never thought I would play a shooting game. And I think I don't see myself <laughs> playing another one. But this one, like occasionally hopping in with people I'm comfortable with, I think it's really really good game admission that me and the boys can bring in whatever the fuck we want and still come out okay yeah. hell divers 2 doesn't pigeonhole you into one specific optimized play style it's relevant but it's also like flexible that's what i love about it part of the reason the game is so replayable is that it's a lot of fun to mix and match primaries secondaries grenades backpacks and, and synergize your strategy with your teammates Helldivers rewards good teamwork and strategy not to mention that i have played a lot of shooters in my time and i've never played something that felt like Helldivers. when it comes to the aiming when it comes to the actual shooting mechanics what and you can't aiming? just like max out your sensitivity in order to zip around and like instantly do a That's 180 to shoot something behind you it takes time to line up the shot and you have to know when to crouch That's to improve accuracy and recoil when to reload so you don't waste ammo pacing your shots there's so many little mechanics you can master to really flourish in this game and it makes the shooting feel awesome Helldivers totally core combat <laughs> is complemented perfectly by its level design which emphasizes risk versus reward sure you can do the main missions and just exfil out of there but a real patriot completes all the optional missions <laughs> clearing out every outpost and bug nest that's andy and he wants to do every detail. Maximize XP and rec slip gains. Samples are also an important resource to upgrade your ship permanently, but they drop on death. Let's say your team is starting the evac and you just died and dropped all your samples. You've got two minutes. 
Do you stay with your team and help them defend or risk it for the biscuit and make a beeline for your samples? All this for a couple of samples? Gotta go grab them. Gotta go grab them. Sir, for <laughs> democracy. At times you have to decide, do you split your team up to tackle multiple objectives at the same time or stay together as a single unit? Throughout each mission, players are constantly making decisions. They mean is when you get lucky during clicking. <laughs> True. Decisions like these based on the risk and the reward. As a team, you have to decide when to do the optional objectives and when it just ain't worth it, man. On top of this, there's a time limit and a limited number of lives. If the clock hits zero, you can't call in reinforcements, no respawns, and you can't use stratagems. So when choosing where to spawn on the map, you want to plan the most efficient path to complete everything. And when you do, when you maximize the rewards and see that fat XP gain, that five-star mission completion, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's better than sex, for sure. That's like the, <laughs> one of the best missions I think I've ever done. And um, it caps off the whole, the whole thing. Outstanding patriotism. Look at those samples, man. Ah, ah! beautiful. And like I said, teamwork is important. You're dealing with a bunch of really okay, powerful that's... explosives oh, wow. and carpet bombs and shit. And friendly fire is on. Run! I've ever seen that many on one screen. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Ooh, right there, right there. What? What? You can <gasps> get in. Get in. Oh. <laughs> How did you kill me? The chaos. <laughs> oh my god, no. How did you kill me? Why? Spenny. Why? <laughs> my shot. Why? Spenny almost sold that whole mission. In Why the last would you five seconds? That is the Holy worst shit. place you could have killed me. Tonight. Oh my God. Get this guy away from the fucking stove immediately. He can never cook ever again. And while it's very hard Aww. to resist griefing your friends, when shit hits the fan, sloppy teamwork will be the death of you and all the it's democracy you're though. fighting for. And the friendly fire has been off the chain this session. I know. Oh, look out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit, speaking of, Jesus. I, I had the opportunity to... That's kind of how they balanced all these overpowered stratagems with friendly fire. You can't just carelessly chuck out a nuke whenever you like. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, he just knocked a fucking... Yeah, he needs to go down. My hands, you need to oh, okay, what the fuck? Oh, oh, God. I'm oh, dead. my God. I'm dead again. Oh. Dead again dead instantly. Again, In a real war, you got to watch out for your brothers and yourself because even the dropships <laughs> can kill you. True. Oh, my fucking... God. You got to be shitting me. You he have actually got to be shitting me. Yeah, I think this game is in no so way he cool. was standing. He did it. Oh my ways. god! Okay. Shut up. You can also kill enemies and teammates with your own drop pod. It's fucking awesome. Why didn't Halo ever think of this? Another cool mechanic is reloading. Some weapons require ammo backpacks, and it's slower Yay. to reload if you carry it but it becomes almost instant if your teammate does, allowing you to launch shell after shell oh. down range. This emphasis on risk and reward, teamwork and synergy makes Helldivers 2 one of the most enjoyable and satisfying games to play with your friends. So I'd say the core gameplay Not is there. basically perfect. I really don't have many complaints. My only complaint is, yes, the, 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 uh, let, let me turn off blood and stuff, please. And uh, my pink outfit. But if those are the only complaints I have, like, basically, I'm agreeing. It's perfect. Like, those two things usually are not things people care about. Except those escort missions against the fucking automatons. That was hell. But a game like Helldivers might completely fall apart if the objectives are boring. Thankfully, there's as much variety in the mission design as there is in the sandbox and enemy types. The objectives are much more involved and creative than you would expect. You have to do things like manage the terminal, enter proper combinations, and do all these things while fighting off waves of enemies. Often, you have to make yourself vulnerable to complete well, the objective. On the galactic so. map, you get to choose where you land, what types of missions you do, what time of day, mm. and you see what modifiers might make the run easier or more challenging. Because you have a choice, you never feel like you're doing the exact same thing Good every morning. time, <laughs> and you know precisely what you're getting into. Many other multiplayer games get repetitive and dull in a fraction of the time I've played Helldivers for. On bug planets, sometimes you run into these big ass stalkers. These guys are no joke. They are tanky, they can chase you down and kill you fast. 
But if you take out their nest and tell them to fuck off, they won't spawn for the rest of the round. There's artillery stations you can find and if you load them up with five shells, bam, you now have five extra artillery stratagems for the rest of the mission. So the game rewards you with XP and progression of course, but also in making the mission easier. That's great design. There's also plenty points of interest and you can find premium currency and war bonds out in the world just by exploring. You may be encouraged to complete everything and try to do that every round, but ultimately it's you your choice to. when to call yeah. it quits. And those are two words I love, player choice. Did I mention the planets in Helldivers 2 are procedurally generated? Yeah, I know. It doesn't even feel like that when you're playing. Making procedurally generated content feel handmade is- What does procedural generated mean? It's generated as you go. Oh, so as you play more, it's generated? It's one of the hardest things I can imagine for a game developer but the result is an endlessly replayable experience True. every planet is stunning and gorgeous in its own way now i got a nice rig of 40 like i went to this new planet the other day and they had floating jellyfish and it just felt like like a whole new place they all looked so great and unique basically means the maps are made out of tiles that have been put together Oh, I thought it means like, like they add new planets as you progress in the game or something. So once you land on the planet, it's generated as you go? Is that what it means? As you go forward, forehead, it's, it's made? Probably not, right? 90 graphics card, and I tell you, this is one of the best looking games I've ever played. Each planet really hosts a different biome, and once again, variety is the spice of life here. Trees. You have Space Vietnam <laughs> in Malevolon Creek snowy planets lava planets jungles yeah. rocky mountains yo yo what is this make snowball <gasps> yo excuse what? me what how do i <laughs> how do i make a snowball i don't know there was just a button prompt for it over here what cool. some places are in the whole mission is generated before you land that's a semi randomly created a new each time instead of having fixed maps gotcha engulfed in a bright orange light that obscures vision it's not just giant bugs you have to overcome and contend with but the environment itself darkness and fog can really put you on edge because sometimes you don't see the enemy until they're right in your face go to you i can't see fucking shit right now crossing a river might not seem too challenging but when there's no cover you move slower and you throw a shit ton of robots on the other side Crossing that river becomes a massive hurdle. Snowy planets can make you move slower and reduce the fire rate of your guns. So many little details. Oh my God. Oh, oh God. Oh, it almost heal, killed heal. me. I can see the fucking, yo. And here's the thing. All these factors, weapons, stratagems, planets, modifiers, mission objectives, optional missions, points of interest, all of these things make each mission feel unique from the last. Even when you're doing it on the same planet, in the same biome, I genuinely cannot compliment this game enough. So whenever new planets are unlocked, I'm really excited to get on and see what else the game can throw at me. What, uh, free like, I will not play it a lot, but I think, I think it's one of the best shooting games I've seen. I was surprised to actually like playing it and when i watch other people play it's just so funny it's a fun game freedom peak <laughs> what more can you ask? liberty ridge <laughs> also whenever you dive onto a planet you're treated with a spectacular backdrop which seems to change depending on what part of the planet you dive on now this might not be true but it's my head canon that but when you travel somewhere and you see all these other ships, I like to think those are other players' ships. If you look down, you can even see stratagems being called in. I mean, it's it feels like a real war, man. This, <laughs> fuck, this game is so good. There's even a bit of Battlefield's cool. levolution in destructible environments. I mean, this game has everything. Oh god, he just blew the house Holy up. Holy shit. To make matters even better, Helldivers 2 is a $60 game being sold for 40. You get more content and enjoyment out of this than a lot oh, of I other forgot. AAA releases. And like Baldur's Gate 3 and like Pal World, 
there's no catch no scummy business practices arrowhead just wanted to make a fun video game and it shows Respect. everything the ceo has been saying online is so fucking based he was straight up telling people to wait and buy the game until the servers were fixed have you ever seen a ceo be like yeah it's okay if you don't buy our product right now no no you don't hear that so health divers doesn't have a battle pass but it does have a freedom pass which is way cooler and like halo infinite these seasonal and event passes will never expire that's right no fomo oh. grind at your own pace oh no way i didn't and know to that get the premium you need a thousand super credits i didn't know that those do not expire the pass that the war bonds i didn't know that there's no oh i like them even more you know what yeah this game is this game is respectable <laughs> even that in that regard that there are actually other player ship and fun fact you'll occasionally see some of those ships being destroyed that happens when the squad dies <gasps> that is very cool no, i respect the 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 battle pass not like expiring because sometimes you play a game right and you want to take a break or something and i hate when a game makes you feel like you're almost like slacking off or missing out you're punished for the time away <laughs> Like, that's why a lot of times I play single player games too. If you take like a month away or something and you come back, it's there, you pick up where you left off. And it's kind of like that. Now, this Even is where companies like Activision would do something like charge you $10 for 800 super credits or $15 for 1300 credits. They would pull some scummy little tactic with the in game currency to get you to buy more mm -hmm. than you actually need. Not here. You just spend 10 bucks, you got it. Some armor sets in this are straight up like $2 or less. Meanwhile, at Activision Blizzard, buy a different portal color, $30. At a time where many gamers are fed up with how greedy big corporations are, I'm happy to say that the developers of Helldivers 2 respect your time and your wallet. They earn that money. They also wanted to make sure they avoided any pay to win comparisons or mechanics. What you get in the premium pass is arguably worse than the free one and unlike other games where you can pay to skip tiers you can't you can only progress the freedom pass by playing the game the only issue is that the grind is ridiculously slow i put more than 40 hours into the game and i'm nowhere near unlocking everything if you we can't cheat your way to democracy we could buy war bonds uh -uh. with requisition slips that'd be <laughs> nice because at a certain point you unlock all the stratagems and you just requisition slips mean nothing to you now like i said there isn't a campaign or a main story there's more lore than there is story but what's the purpose behind this war liberation know. quite possibly yeah. one of my favorite features in all of video games is in hell divers 2 galactic conquest 2.0 as i like to call it there is a war going on in real time every day the forces of evil push against us they seek to conquer our outlying planets, kill our civilians, murder our families. Helldivers 2 has a sort of dungeon master behind the scenes, controlling what planets are open, what planets get attacked. Somewhat recently, the order was for players to fight the automatons in these defense missions, but now the Terminids are moving in and we got to push them back. So it's like this ebb and flow. And every time you and your team achieve victory in a series of missions, you liberate a very small percentage of the planet. Liberate enough planets and players will push deeper into enemy territory. If the community fails too much or doesn't divert enough manpower, those planets may be lost and, and the enemy pushes deeper into our territory. Who's the- You know, there is a planet called Estano. I, I would love to see that one liberated. But it's taken over by the enemy right now. Yeah, Estano, my dear planet the genius behind this idea i want to give him a medal i imagine it's very hard to balance something like this especially with the massive unexpected player count they had but they seem to be doing a good job of it and as long as i feel like i'm doing my part i'm, I'm doing happy. my part and this is why helldivers 2 has the greatest blueprint for a live service i've ever seen any event seasonal change new enemy faction can be introduced to the players and community like a breaking news report in the ongoing um, war and they can yeah. take what is just like regular content and advertise it in game as if it's propaganda our scientists have been hard at work creating mechs and they're finally ready for the battlefront and this is genius you know instead of making a live service that's just an endless list of menial tasks and 
chores to complete or an artificially inflated grind to maximize the fear of missing out. The live service here is entirely based on the community's efforts. And I think that's a big reason why the game is sustaining such a large player base and why yeah, it doesn't feel like a grind. It doesn't feel like like homework. A lot of games kind of end up being like that. Better get to liberating that novel. Yeah. <laughs> For democracy. Looks like my PC will not endure this. No, really. It is a big game. I don't know if... Okay, I don't think I'll stream this ever. But even if I want to, I don't know if I can with my model. Will in the future. This is why there's been a somewhat of a ceasefire around this game between, you know, PlayStation and Xbox fanboys. Because we need all the men we can get. <laughs> we have the ships. Yeah. We have the weapons. Soldiers. In conclusion, oh Helldivers 2 is one of the best- We ba really gotta recruit, don't we? If there's like some planets we actually want to see liberated. Best co-op games I've ever played. It's some of the most fun I've had with my buddies and I can't stop playing it. Considering I still play oh, Left 4 Dead 2 and Vermintide 2 semi-regularly, Helldivers 2 is gonna be one of those games. One of those yeah, oh, it's been regularly. five, ten years. Let's go play Helldivers 2. And, and we yeah. go back to it as if no time has passed. For their first attempt at a shooter game, Arrowhead have hit a grand slam. And their pro-consumer attitude gives them all the goodwill in the galaxy. I think Helldivers 2 is going to become a landmark title in the four-player co-op genre. A game so good that studios in the future will look back on it to try and replicate what it does so well. Helldivers 2 is everything I've ever wanted from a co-op PvE game. I'm going to stick around and watch every update from now until support is dropped. And that is why Helldivers 2 is a masterpiece. Well, what do you think of Helldivers 2? Have you been enjoying it as much as me? What's your favorite part about the game? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. My like the video if you opinion? enjoyed it. And subscribe to The Act Man for more awesome content. All right, everyone. That's all I got for today. This is The Act Man signing out. Bye -bye. Peace. Peace. My favorite thing about the game is like I can play without feeling bad. <laughs> Because a lot of times, I don't play team games because I feel like I'm, like, making my team suffer. But it's, it's like, a game meant for fun. It's supposed to be, like, messy. Sometimes you pop off. Sometimes you kill your own team and you just, like, laugh about it. Or they, like, cry and it's just funny. It's not serious i think it's like very well balanced in that way too even like the setting the mood and they're like guns but there is also like little like doggo robot that follows you so there's so many different ways to play it too you can just hop in whenever you want and not feel like you missed out fun in a game are you mad i know i think it's gonna do really well um, I think it's gonna capture people who usually shy away from shooting games or they just dislike it altogether. I hope it does. I hope that whenever I want to, I can hop in.